This is the, the uh, VCs of Christianity. Look at uh, uh, letter S for N, spring, and sickness. And uh, I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Um, <clears throat> we are here looking at the response to suffering. Um, and uh, we talked about common human responses last week. And this week we're looking at the, the considered biblical response to suffering. <clears throat> Just want to look here, here at that. So when, when we are called upon to suffer, there are some, some things we can know for, for sure. Number one, know Lord cares for us. Uh, in first, first Peter chapter five, verse number seven, it says, casting all, all your care upon him for he careth for you. Amen. And we often emphasize that fact, but the fact is he cares for us. When we think about, you think about that, about that, and I don't know why I'm maybe, maybe just hammer that down and drive it home a little bit today, but he cares for us. You think about what the verse is saying you, you know you know the context of the verse he's talking about uh pastor, pastors elders who have maybe a lot of responsibility a lot of care uh he says casting your care upon him casting all your care upon him y'all don't know what the word care means then's there concern worry burden all of the all of, all of that stuff difficulty that that's that's on you um i think Word actually gives me, me the ability to look at the. No, what's that? that it's a translate, late, but I can do a smart look. look up. Who knows what's going to come up? Um, when it when it's on the the other mode, I can I can I can click. I can look at synonyms, but um, um any anyhow, uh, uh, the uh, idea here here. I, I, I like the that the word put it says cast all your care on him for he careth for you. This is a I, I know we it's it's a simple statement, right? Right? A very simple statement. But if you just maybe when you're full of care, right? When the Bible tells us to be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication, uh let the request be made known unto God. But when you're full, full of care, or you're careful, you have a troubled, troubled soul. You have a, a a burdened down soul. You're burdened for, for for whatever reason, and you might be sitting there thinking about this verse here: "You're casting air upon him, for he care for you." you might just just meditate upon the, on the truth there that he has concern for us when we think about all of the different passages that have to do with this of course we can look at uh, uh psalm 55 verse 22 says cast cast the burden upon the lord and he shall sustain thee he shall never suffer the righteous righteous moved um we can look also as uh, he knows all about us right the very hairs of our, our head are all numbered some of us it's easier to do than others uh but <clears throat> Then he talks about our, our value. We are, we are uh, I gave you the word. <laughs> we are a great value, as is, is the, is the word there. Um, it says that in, in, in uh, Matthew 10, 31, Fear ye not, not therefore ye, ye are of more value, value than many pharaohs. As we, as we consider the, the things, we often, as we often, often uh, think about suffering, most of us in America, we're, we're not suffering the, the kind of things that the West Coast are suffering right now. Yeah. You're suffering the, the loss of a one who was mar martyred for their. We're we're not, we're not suffering the the things the you know we may suffer some sickness some um, you know first first world problems right. right? But what do we cry cry about? Today? Oh, it took too long going through the burger the Burger King drive through. Oh, oh, it took too long you know uh, getting done done with the air time tonight tonight. Oh, we, you know this was was difficult that was hard. Oh, oh I'm sitting in a hard pew right now, and we. we we're we're burdened down down by those kind of things, but the the big things for us when we really worry or we're really careful are 
uh, or we feel like we're like we're free are the, the, the times when we don't have what we think we need to have, right? Uh, when we feel like, oh, man, uh, there's there's more as more as they used to say, say in the, the also the marketing thing, I think they still do. If, you know, you got more month than you have money, right? And, you know, you, the money runs runs out, you got month going, you know, and you, you don't have, you know, we, we think about, about the kind of things and we, we think, oh, you know, that's suffering and, and all that, right? Well, the, the answer that gives us, us for that um, is this. this. You all know the sparrows, right? He takes care of them. Yes, they have to get up early to get the worm, right? <laughs> yes, you've got to go out there, but God makes sure that they have what they need, right? And uh, we've, we've also, so they're probably sitting there thinking about how God, God takes care of the squirrels, right? And, uh, <laughs> and how the kids put pump, pumpkin out and the squirrels eat the stuff out of it, right? So, uh, so, so but, but Luke 12 uh, says, verses 6, 7, uh, are not five sparrows sold for, a far, uh, for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. God. Right? I mean, sparrows are valuable. Right? Now, he give, gives a specific value. They're, they're sold two farthings. Right? You can, you can buy some sparrows. sparrows. Well, back back in the see sparrows, sparrows where now. And for the most, most part, people do those. But we... Think, think about chicken. Right? You, you know, you can go get two, two chicken at the at, at the grocery store for bucks or whatever or it is, right? Right, and and uh, you can actually buy, buy them fried, rot rotisserie for ten bucks for full of chickens, right? Right. But, but it says here the even the variables of your head are all are all numbered. Fear not, they're not. Therefore, ye, ye are of more view than many any sparrows. God makes care for four sparrows if he cares for them think about how much more he cares for us and and we are you never see a sparrow like like wings in his pocket right walk around going where am i going to get my next meal where am i going to get my next meal where are we going, where are we going? what's that what's that right never on you never see a sparrow on the exit ramp with the, with the sign got six eggs at home in the nest <laughs> <laughs> I need food. <laughs> you know, we're we're nestless. Somebody threw our nest out. Uh, you don't see sparrows doing that, right? You you just you see you know you you sit in the steps of the circle and you know you you get your, your burger and your, your French fries. The way you see them, you do see them then. They show up and they're like, hey, hey, you want one of those fries? I mean, you know, you know, I don't know. Anybody ever been to Chicago? You got the birds there in Chicago, man. You got the little little seagulls, you know. And you you put some food food out and throw out, and they're like screaming at you. And then they run around laughing at each other because they're like, ha, 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 got it. And you didn't know, like really. They, I'll have to show you show you guys a video. And they're, they're screaming and squawking and stuff, right? And they're and they're and they're trying to get that get that from you. It's neat neat to look at nature, right? Neat to, to look at. Need to look at God's creatures and see how God takes care of care of them. He uses you, you right? Need the bread and you throw it out there. We were watching some ducks yesterday uh, on the first roof roof that we were on. We're seeing these ducks that this uh, uh, family had had this beautiful property, beautiful property, and uh, they had a swimming pool in the back backyard, ground swimming pool, and the duck and the duck were it was the ducks pool. <laughs> There's like what six or eight ducks out there out there swimming around in the pool just just diving down and coming, swimming all all over the place uh, and uh no it was, wasn't a clean pool anyways uh <laughs> so but but you watch those you know you know we watch watch our chickens and i'll, I'll be sitting there there working look out the window window and they're you know looking at the window like like hey send me some food food or something you know we, we look at those things things and we thought how how they how they you know they're good they're taken care of now. Care of now, domestic uh, uh, animals are taken care of by the people that raise them. But we think about how God provides for His creatures, and then we get so worried about how we're going to be cared for, how we're going we're going to provide it for, right? We we're like, ah, oh, oh, where am I get? How, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Well, God gives us a subscription in His Word, word on what we ought to do, the you know, being diligent and all that. But then on the other other side of that. 
we can trust him to take care of us. If we're diligent, if we do what we're supposed to do, he'll take care of us. And he always just does. <clears throat> but in terms of, of this care, we really, and I, I know I'm going to overuse the word, so the word care just sounds weird all the time, you know, right? right? We don't realize that God is interested in us. That there's interest there. There's concern. That there's desire for our well-being. That the God of the universe, the God of heaven, the one who made everything, thinks about you. And thinks about not just, you know, your survival, but thinks about the things that are, that are on your mind and on your heart. And thinks about the things that you're struggling with the things that you need to grow, the areas in which you need to grow, all the things that are going on in your life, God thinks about. He takes thought for those things. He's concerned for you. I don't mean God's up there biting his fingernails and he's worried about you, but he cares for you in the right way. When we care for ourselves and it's in the wrong way, we're worried and concerned and all that, we have a Father in heaven, heaven who's caring for us in the right way. And so when that, when that suffering comes along, along, we have to take into consideration that, that we know that God cares for us, that he knows about us. He uh, play, places a great value on us. Um, not only that, but but he was, let her, let her see, he touched with the, the feeling of our, our infinities. And, uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 15, it says, For we have not an high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are yet, are yet without sin. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Praise God, he was without sin. Amen. Otherwise, he would not have been a worthy sac sacrifice for our sins. Um, Isaiah 53, verse 3, He was despised and rejected of the man of sorrows, or was acquainted with grief, and we hid it as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him them not. Matthew 8, 20. And behold, there came a leper. Uh, I, I copied the wrong verse. It says Matthew 8, 2. Matthew 8, 20 says, the nice, I've got it right there. Praise the Lord for technology. Matthew 8, and Jesus saith unto him, the foxes have holes, and the birds of the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. <clears throat> he certainly knew the struggle. He, he knew what it meant <clears throat> to live in this world. He knew what it meant to uh, have need. <clears throat> Letter D. He what? Knows the way, the way to take. Where, where right our goal? He knoweth the way, right? In in, in uh, Job chapter twenty three, verse number number ten. <clears throat> he knoweth the way that way that I. When he hath tried me, I shall forth his gold gold. He, re he records our. Wandering and even stores, stores all our fears. Wow. Anybody ever about that? Psalm 56, verse 8. Thou tellest must my wants. Not only does it, no, no, tells it. He tells it. Thou, my tears into thy, thy bottle. <clears throat> Are they not in thy book? It's all, it's all worded. Think about that. What's that? Bottle tears. Think about that. Think about the. I mean, think about the intricate involvement that God has in the lives of, of all seven, eight billion people on the planet, and all the people that ever have been on the planet, and and all that ever will be. Think think about the, the involvement that God, God had in your life before you were even born. <clears throat> All of the details of, of your fashioning and, and 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 your being when you're in the womb, and then 
when you come forth from the womb, the, the involvement, the concern, the care, the desire for, 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 your, uh, for your best interest according to his will from the, from the very moment you were born, from before you were born. Letter F here, here. His spirit yeah, intercedes on our behalf. Romans uh, eight twenty eight. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's actually Romans eight twenty six six twenty eight. Um, I believe I just twenty. No. Yeah, I uh, must have skipped skipped there, but it's over here. Um, <clears throat> likewise, the Spirit also also helpeth our our infirmities, for we know not not we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh and intercession for us with groanings uh, uh, which cannot be uttered. And, and he, he that searcheth the heart, hearts knoweth is the mind of the, the Spirit, because he maketh an intercession for the saints according, according to the not, according to the will of God. We have here, here that his Spirit intercedes on behalf Number two, so the number one was, we know the Lord cares for us, right? And this, all of this, all of this, this involvement in his care for us. And the number two, we know that all things work to work to core. Good to them that love God. We know that God cares for us in a general fashion, general, you know, in, in the sense, let's, let's say it this way. We know that God cares for everyone. One. That he does cause care for everyone, but there's then then the care that we're going to have is to be based upon our our relationship with him. So here, number two, two knowing <clears throat> that all things work together for good, but not for everyone. It's only them that love God who who are the called according to His purpose. We recognize that all things work together for our good, as verse 29 says, that, that we be conformed to the image of his son. That's the it's that's not up there, but that's that's what the the point, point is there. And it's based upon the relationship we have with him as his children. If you're born again, we know we know that all things work together for good. If you're not born, not born again, all things work together for your salvation. That you're working, working, everything that happens is an opportunity for you, you to realize that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. You're, everything, every crisis, every near-death experience, every oppor opportunity is pointing you to the Savior, Savior, whether you know it or not. Now, it may give you as, as enough information to, to get saved, but it's pointing you for, to your need. need. The law was, is this, there as our scholaster. And is there to point to us our need. Note says this past passage is set in the context of the suffering and infirmities experienced in our body. As he says, says, For we know the whole creation groaneth and, tra and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but, they, but ourselves so, which have first fruits of, of the, the spirit in our, uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, even we ourselves, Grow within ourselves, wait for the adoption to it, redemption of a body. For, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is not, or hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why, why do yet hope for? But if we hope, hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit, Spirit, as we already read there, helpeth our infir infirmity, infirmity uh, um, for we know not what we should pray for, for as we ought. But the Spirit itself, uh, itself, make the negative intercession for us with, with things which can't be uttered. Uh, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The scripture, scripture does not say all things which will be good. Rather, all things, both good and bad, work together for good. I know I've labored this point lots. In fact, I often quote, quote this past, often go here to remind everyone that God's purpose in us is to be conformed to the image of his son. 
that all things will work together for our good. And it is our good according to the will of, will of God that we might be conformed to the image of his son. We may not feel like it's good, it's good, but it's for our good, right? It's kind of like, you know, the, the mo most common thing that we, that we can liken it to is discipline, right? Chastisement. When we chastise, I don't like it. It doesn't seem to be pleasant. It doesn't feel, feel very good. It doesn't, doesn't feel good to get banking. It doesn't feel good, good to humble yourself and, and as all to humble yourself, humble yourself and repent and, and you know, go into people and say, say you're sorry. Tell, tell somebody sorry or, and can confess your faults one to another. It doesn't feel good to do, do that. It, it's, not, it's not fun, but it's good. Uh, often go through things that, that don't feel good. But then it bringeth, bringeth forth the visible fruit of righteousness, right? As, as you looked at the, at the listening and purging. Thing. And that, that has, has, by the way, the purging kind of, and I, I picture it this way. When, when I think about now, you know, it doesn't exactly fit this, but the thought get with it is this, that we as plants which grow, grow, need to be trimmed back as we grow, right? Otherwise, what happens? You get into the power lines, right? Yeah, <clears throat> right, right. You the power lines. That's exactly right. No, you, you, we talked about in noon Bible study today how people misuse power. And so we sometimes, if you, if you grow out of control, what, what happens? You the power lines. And you misuse your authority, or you miss you do you, you do the wrong thing with the growth that you have. You get tang tangled up in power lines. You get get you know you 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 rub on the roofs and tear up the angles. You fall on houses. You know there's all kinds of things that things happen when you don't grow properly. So it'd been nice to have, to have Dad here tonight and talk about the ar arborist aspect, right? That there is a good thing about trimming plants, right? And and uh, we uh, we. We got some uh, some roses in the front yard. You let those roses grow, grow like crazy, they won't grow, won't grow well as they should. They won't, won't produce the flowers, flowers like like they, they should because they get so so and and they just they they just don't doesn't work right right. So every year you have to what you have to purge them. You have to have to cut them back. You have to prune them back. Right? You you cut them back. And, and you got all the way, all the way, down. <clears throat> one of them, we got all the way down where it was tall again. again. And this year, this year, back up to here. here. Yeah. All, all in one year, maybe two years. Here's, um, it was, okay. All the way back, back up above the fence again. Again, it's like grew, grew like crazy, but it wasn't, wasn't see, notice this, all that growth that happened from here to here in one year, but that all happened happened back in year year, the third year it might have grown like grown like maybe this much, maybe out a little bit bit, but didn't grow, grow as much because it wasn't wasn't purged, it wasn't pruned, it wasn't it it wasn't cut back. Sometimes time that suffering is the need to cut back a little bit. <clears throat> so this much claim promise apply, apply those who love God as we already spoke spoke about. If you love me, keep my commandments, he says. Um, according to Hebrews 11, 22, jo Joseph was a man of faith. Considering his sufferings, we'll look here, it says, By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. Um, the man of faith, consider his sufferings. How cruel, you guys, guys think of Joseph. Think about his life. How cruel, how... Um, how enduring, how unjust they, they were. Uh, all, all the things happened there, right? You, you, you remember he was thrown in a pit, left for dead. They were going to kill him. Kill him. No, nah, we won't kill, kill him. Sell him into slavery instead. Sell him into slavery. Goes into slavery, ends up serving, uh, doing a good job serving. Gets promoted in his slavery. He's running the house. Falsely accused, thrown in prison, prison, spends a long time in prison. He gets 17 years from the dream to the happening. 
17 years. That's a long, long time. That's a long time to be a slave or a prisoner. Part of the time he was a slave, part of the time he was a prisoner. That's a long time. You think about all, all that difficulty, all, all that he, I mean, what, what did he do to deserve that? Did he, did he deserve in prison? No. He didn't do anything. Oh. False used in prison. Prison. Did he deserve to be a slave? No. Oh. As as for you, he, he says, you thought evil evilst me, but God God meant it for good. To bring to pass as it is, it is this to save much people, much people alive. He saw saw see Joseph, Joseph in the midst of all of all of his trials and difficulty, and he saw all this life was not about, not about him, but rather about much people. It was about what, what he was going to do for everybody else. Think about it. If Joseph would have said, you know what? Forget this. You know, you know, like a lot of people in prison do. They say, oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to hang myself. They come in, come in, they find Joseph dead. Guess what just happened now? Israel's dead. The rest of the world's dead. Most of the world probably dies in the, in the famine. Pharaoh has a drink. Nobody's there to, there to interpret it. Hmm. But, but Joe stuck around. Then you guys remember he had the, the, the butler and the baker, right? One of them was, was supposed to come back and remember him, remember him and say, hey, I'm in a position of power again. Let that guy out. And he forgot about him. He could, he could have said, hey, I can catch a break. Do well in prison, well in, in slavery, end up, end up in prison. Do well in prison, interpret this guy, guy's dream. He gets back in power, he forgets me. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me. Guess I'll go in arms, right? Pretty much that's what he's, you know, that's we might have could have said, but instead, instead, he stuck through it. And then, then we have Israel saved because of it. Not just Israel, but as he says, much people. Everybody went to Egypt to get food because of Joseph. Everybody that survived the, the famine survived because of Joseph. You thought that. Joseph saved the world. <laughs> I mean, you know, as watch these superhero movies and stuff stuff that's a superhero yeah. right right there one who endured be, being thrown in a pit, pit being left for dead then, then pulled into slave slavery being fully accused who's sitting in prison answering uh you know in, interpreting dreams you know being you got in prison prison then getting out of prison saving the whole, whole could have got out of prison and said you know what i'm second in command, in command. Somebody go find my brothers, execute them. them. Could have done it. Could have said, hey, go find Potiphar. He and his wife are going to get what's coming to them. To him. Second, second man. The only person of him in, in the whole world was Pharaoh. Humanly speaking. Pharaoh was like, hey, you you do it. As a matter of fact, Pharaoh didn't even manage him. him. He left everything up to him. In other words, Joseph was king of the world, pretty much. And then he used it to bless those who cursed him. <clears throat> Shall not the judge, I gave you the answer, of all the earth, earth do right? Second Corinthians. Oh, yeah, here's a. Where did I get that? Oh, yes, that's this one. I'm sorry. I was trying to read the next verse for the, the one down there. Be far from thee to do after the manner to slay, slay the righteous. Look at this is Abraham talking to the Lord. The righteous should be as, as the kid that. That be far from thee, shall not the judge of the earth do right? right? Of course, no, he did. 
they did right, right? right. Well, I won't you'll destroy the right with the wicked. You, you, you. Nine, if, if nine, ten righteous. I won't. I won't destroy the wicked. Wicked. There were ten, ten righteous. Think about. Think about that. Job, Job had four. Four. Job. Lot had, Lot had four. Lot had four. Had four. All he needed was six. Six more. Yes, his his other daughters and his sons son son would have made it. Done. That's it. All you needed, and maybe his wife's parents. Anybody else? He was in the gate in the government. Anybody he may have been talking to. But the judge of all the earth did right. He took the righteous out before destroying the, the wicked. And God always does the right thing. And he knows better than we do. Amen. Even when we're suffering and we think, oh, this is all for naught. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why I go through this. I don't know why this is going to Sometimes we don't realize that, that the suffering is so that, so that we can maybe put in, put in a position later that is going to bless those that, that may have versed us, like Joseph, right? Or maybe we were in positions um, so that we can, you know, later do what do what God's to do, right? Sometimes we go through the difficulty and then come out on the other side, being able to be used of God as Job. One of the, the obviously there's the aspect of the argument kind of there between the devil and God, but but at the end of the day, the book of Job is there for you. You say, why, why did Job have to go through all that? Just for me, it wasn't just for you, it was for you and you and everybody else. That's why why we have heard heard of the patient Job because it's there for us to hear. Job said, said, you know what? Honey, you're right. Right. I'm going, I'm going to curse God. We wouldn't have a story. We wouldn't have the account of, of it. Because he'd die. And, and he wouldn't have written, written it. But we have it. So whatever it is you may be going through, Consider first, God cares for for you. Secondly, that God knows, or, or rather, we know that God's going to work all things together for good. That there is good, good coming from, from it. You may not understand, you may not even know, know this side of eternity, but there will be good coming from it. From it. Number three, we know the grace of God is. Sufficient to every witness or trial. As he said to Paul, Paul my grace is sufficient, for my strength is made, made perfect in weakness. Most gl gladly, therefore, will I, I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. No great thing to be able to say, look what I did. It's a great thing to say, wow, look what happened. Look what God did. Number four, we know that our sufferings are but for this present time. Romans 8, 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be com compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. By the way, that's not, not just talking about heaven. Notice how he says this. Not to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, not to us, in us. There's Joseph, example. There's a, you, you look at the book of Ephesians and you, and you see how the angels look and they see the manifold wisdom, wisdom of God in the church, church and they, they see God, God work and they see man. Uh, you know, go through what he's going through and doing things. 
God getting glory in heaven. We get to get to fight out that glory that's revealed in a, in us later at some point. Other watch, we don't even right. You know, you got people watching you, not just the, the followers on Facebook, <laughs> not just the people that follow you on Twitter or or, or uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, whatever social media you got. It's not just those people. Other people are watch, watching. People watch you in real life. In real life. They do. Yes, people watch you on, on the internet too, but people watch people in real life. And I'm not talking about the government. They watch you too, too. In, in real life. Yes. What? Well, uh, and on the internet. Yes. Um, but I'll tell you from experience. I am the government. So are you. you. Um tell you from experience guess what man man's not very good at putting things things together <laughs> people that have this big conspiracy thing don't really realize how how totally totally i don't know how you say it even to totally like like incapable unorganized yes the government is you ever, you ever been in the military Yeah. Do a lot. What do you do a lot of in the military? What's that? Account, account thing. Yeah, yeah. But most of the time, you hurry up and wait. And and that's exactly right. You know why you're waiting? Nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> so we give people too much credit. But people are people are watching you. Because they don't know what's going on. What's going on. They're, they're watching to see if you know what's going on. Can. Yeah. So, people are watch, watching you <clears throat> to see glory reveal, revealed in you. Right. right. When, when Jesus said, you're the, you're the light of the world, let your light shine before four men. That they may they may see your good works and, and glory your Father which is which is in heaven. Is when we're suffering, when we're going through difficulty. You know, you know what's what's awesome about suffering is that other people see you suffering, and other people see how you handle it. Other people see how the grace of God is sufficient in, in your life. People see that when you're suffering, you're not focused as much much on the temporal present. Uh, uh, sufferings of this present time, you're more fo focused on the glory which will be revealed. You're more focused on how is God going to get glory through this? How is God going to be magnified through this? How is God going to be lifted up through, through this? You're more focused on what is God's purpose in this instead of woe is me. This, this is so hard. I, I can't handle this. Wine, cry, cry. Right? And people see that. See, that's not the way you are when you're dealing with that difficulty. And they say, how do you do that? And you say, I don't. I have a Savior. I have the Spirit of God in me. I have the Word of God to guide me. I have, I have, I have a, a Father in heaven that loves me and, and watches over me, me and, and directs me. And His grace is so sufficient. For me. And you start preaching to them. <laughs> and they start hearing not only, not only hearing the gospel, but seeing God work it out in your life. And then, praise the Lord, your, your suffering. Where'd, where'd that go? Save, saves much people a lot. Hopefully, saves much more alive. Whatever you're going through, through, the proper response is going to be to be a response of understanding. To be a response that knows God cares for you. A, a response that knows all things work together, together for, for you. A, resp a response that knows that the, gra the grace of God is sufficient for, for you. A response that knows that the suffering for the, for the present 
have a much greater outcome in glory. <clears throat> because of these precious promises, we are able to respond to our infirmities and tribulations with implicit trust in God. As Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. him. I maintain mine own ways before him. him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Poem here to put, put in here. I do not know why oft around me my hopes all shattered seem to be. God's perfect plan I cannot see. But someday he'll make it plain. I cannot, cannot tell what depths of love that, that move the Father's heart above. My, my faith to test, my love to, to prove, but someday he'll make it plain. Someday when I, I, uh, when I his face shall see. The old preacher put it this way. <laughs> I, I had to look at it and say, well, something, they mistyped it, it a little bit here. <laughs> Said, have heaven. Am the place for understanding. Earth am the place for trust. trust. <laughs> am am the am de place. Yes, yes. Heaven am the place. Yes, he says. And earth am the place for, for trusting. Amen. Thoughts on that. Amen. Any any, any questions on this on that? We'll pick up on on healing of the sufferer next week. It's a good good study. Yeah. Been in this study uh, this tenth week week Been in this study. So well, tenth message we're in the study. Um, next 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 we'll not not sure how far we'll get into uh, uh, the, um into this stu study. We may look at power for power for healing. Uh, uh, we may look at provision for healing. In a separate week, separate week, or maybe go through the whole thing. Thing I don't know. We'll see. We'll follow the Lord on that and that. But praise the Lord. There's purpose in it. Things that are happening aren't happening just. Oh, you know, I carry around this big black cloud over my head all all the time, right? And it just happens because things need to be bad for me, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The things that are that are happening are happening for a greater purpose. We too often see. <clears throat> we all too often, too often think it's all about us, when when we don't realize that, that it's really all about everybody else. It's really about the Lord. But then all about about everybody else. But we're we're actually this will give you some quote unquote self self esteem here. You're actually a part of that. That even even your suffering, it is a part of everybody else's blessing. Not saying that you know, oh, you suffer so everybody else can be blessed. Sometimes that's that's the, that's the way it goes, though, right? Sometimes we we suffer so we can be blessed. Praise God, He's glorified. Amen. And save much people alive, alive. Hopefully, 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 we mean that spiritually, not just physically. Amen. No other thoughts. We'll close in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for for your word. We thank you, Lord, <clears throat> that every joy or trial falleth from, from above, traced on our dial by the Son of God.